Dum dum de dum dum de 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 do. Hey, do you know what, right? If you ever come in to a serious amount of money and you want to uh, double it in no time at all, what you need to do, I'll just mind this mirror on this Volvo, what you need to do is invest your money into a truck stop, right? Invest into a truck stop and watch the pennies roll in with your new license to print money. One second, let's just see if we can spin this. Ah, oh, that's better. Hopefully you can see my big face. Can you see me now? Oh, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Hey, good job this is not live TV. Whew, I think it was my carcass <laughs> sitting down that made it to uh, tip over. Yeah, if you ever come into a serious amount of money and fancy doubling it in no time at all, then invest it in a truck stop. Buy yourself a truck stop, right? And you'll double your money in no time at all. 50 pence, 50 bloody pence they've just charged me for one measly thin crap slice of bread, right? And plastic horrible margarine smothered all over the bloody thing. I mean, you could buy a loaf for less than 50p like that. And then when you slice it, you get in a loaf, do you know what I mean? Anyway, e, that's by the by. Uh, right, you're joining me here. Uh, for some of you who don't know me, this is a, a new channel, a brand new start. For some of you that don't know me, um, you will have no idea what I'm talking about here. And you probably think, who's this mental man? You know what I mean? Uh, for those that have followed me for a while on the previous channel, then hello, how's it going? You all right, me old Sporodactus is dinkles and popty pings. How the devil are you? I hope you're well. Uh, you're joining me here on what is going to be a sad, it, what is a sad day for me? It'll be a sad day tomorrow. It's, it's a sad day today, actually. It's a sad week because uh, this will be my last night as a tramper for AWJ and the last night in this truck I'm on to pastures new I have actually stripped the truck down I'm back to the burr essentials everything's gone let me just see if I can flip it round my big face yeah so I've stripped pretty much everything out of the truck all that's left there is my uniform which I'm handed in tomorrow my bedding One last spur shirt for tomorrow, my washing shaving kit, underpants, socks and my t-shirt which I will wear tomorrow when I hand this thing over. Oh, the microwave's gone. The inverter's gone, the CB's gone, everything's gone, I've had it all take note. Right, let's just see if we can see my big face again now. Ah, that's better. Yeah, this is um, this is my last night here at a, uh, AWJ. Uh, the main reason being is I want to try something different. I've had an absolutely fantastic experience here for the last four years. I can't I can't fault this company. I can't fault them at all. They took me on with no driving experience at all. I had a midlife crisis in my forties. Uh, I'd always wanted to do. I'd always wanted to do my HGV, I'd always wanted to be a truck driver. I'd passed my class two, I didn't want to go for uh, class two, multi-dropping and that. I wanted to go straight for class one, so I passed my class one and I got a job here, basically. I secured the job before I passed my class one. Uh, so as long as I passed my class one, I was going to get a job here. If I didn't pass it, then I wasn't going to get a job, basically. So I passed my test on the Friday and I started here on the bloody Monday, you know what I mean? Two day induction a couple of days being mentored and then I was put out uh, in the tramping fleet and just literally thrown in at the deep end there's everybody's number if you need anything give us a ring don't be frightened of asking and some of the sites I've been to I did I did I think it was a, a year and a half I did first and then I done the ADR so I've been ADR qualified and fertilizer delivering to farms and, that. and some of the sites I've been to honestly when you first start you think oh the hell am I going to get in here, let alone 
tip, turn round and get back out again. No, it's not a problem at all. I could turn this thing round on a sixpence, or I could turn a truck round on a sixpence. No, it wouldn't. But nothing phases me. It really doesn't. This has been, and on hurt, the best job I've ever had since I left school in 1992. I, I love it. I really do love this job. I love the company. I've been loyal. I've been positive. Um, the job's not for everyone. I've said that all along. You know what I mean? It's one of them jobs you either take to or you don't. I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. And I will be sad to leave. I mean, I've got a job here for the rest of my life if I want it. You know, a secure job for the rest of my life. It really is a good company to work for. I think it's a fantastic company to work for. The good people. As long as you don't take the piss, you get on with your job. You, 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 it's all right. Do you know what I mean? But I don't want to look back in 20 years' time thinking all I've ever done since passing my test is walking floor work on bulk haulage. I want to try something different. So I'm going to be working for another company, basically. I'm going on, uh, I'm going on general haulage. I'm going on general but I'm not going on a, a tart line, a curtain side, I'm going on flats. I'm going on flats, so there'll be a lot of ratchets and straps and blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'll be going on to all sorts of different work. So it's something different. It's something I've want, been thinking about for a while. Um, yeah, it's something I've been thinking about for a while. I've just reached the decision recently that uh, it's, it's now or never. I've, I'm going to do it, do you know what I mean? I'm leaving on good terms. So if the job goes tits up or it's not for me, then hopefully I've not, you know, I've not burnt my bridges. So hopefully I can go come back here cap in hand and uh, be back under the bosom and, and in the flock for Christmas dinner. You know, they might turn around and say, bugger off, you little pig, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's something I've wanted to do for a while. Now, I was, I've been toying with the idea, I set this new channel up a couple of weeks ago. I did put a couple of videos on, but I've decided to take them down because they were videos from, from a previous channel and stuff that I'd done a while ago. And I thought, well, what's the point? That's been and gone. Do you know what I mean? Why, if you've just joined me for the first time, you'll have no idea what the hell I'm talking about here now. You know what I mean? So hopefully you've stuck with me so long for, what, seven minutes? You know, let's fly in Splendour or crap Splendour, whatever the case may be. Uh, for those of you who, are, you know, have found me again, I know when I put a couple of videos on the other week, I've already got, I think it's about 50 subscribers or 55 subscribers, and I quickly took them videos off, but thankfully, I think there's only one or two left the channel again. This I've still got 50-odd subscribers on here, so thanks very much. It's obviously people that have followed me before. Um, it's one of them. If people are going to find me, they're going to follow me. Do you know what I mean? It's I'm not being arrogant to be getting in any way, shape or form. But I've always been honest on this channel. I've always been myself. What you see is what you get. You know what I mean? And I think that's why I've been popular in the past. Now, why did I delete that channel? Um, well, I'll tell you the truth. There's some, nobody asked me to, by the way. Nobody asked me to. Nobody forced me to. Nobody made me do. But what it was... Now, I'm not having a go at this lad in any way, shape or form. I actually met the lad once and I, I thought he was all right. Uh, we had we had a, a, a new starter come here and he'd been following me for a while on YouTube. He'd messaged me on the Facebook and that. Um, I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but because I've always been honest about this job and, and told you the ins and outs of it, and I've never gone into company, you know, customer details. I've never filmed on various customer sites and stuff like that because it's a big no-no because we do a lot of different variety of jobs, not just our own work. We do a lot of work for other people, power stations, uh, uh, that, you know, that sort of thing, and places you can't be getting out filming and giving away confidentiality and without permission and that. So I've always been careful to never film outside of this outside of this wagon, really, when I had the previous channel. I always used to cover, when I did the driving videos, the camera was mounted on the wall behind me here, and I always used to cover the name of the company. This company. So as not to give away any details, I never filmed outside the wagon. I was just showing you outside the wagon briefly there, but it's my last, my last night. Um, quite a few people knew who I was working for. They all knew I was working for Jenks, like... Uh, people that have followed me for a while but I never advertised it I never felt the need to really do you know what I mean and I do, I, I do know for a fact that one or two younger lads who've recently passed the tests and that all came you know quite a few of them I don't know how, exactly how many not hundreds you know what I mean but quite a handful of them have come here working at different depots and because they'd seen my videos you know so everybody knew at work that I was doing the videos um, but I was just 
left to it basically because I didn't push the boat I didn't take the piss of it you know what I mean I just did my own thing and we started out just having the crack at night time and I mean once I first passed my test I wasn't going to be filming driving and this that and the other I wanted to get at least two years experience under my belt before I started doing anything like that so we just used to have the crack at night time didn't we which was fine you know I was everything was done within reason just a bit of banter and me being honest and that and then I started doing the driving videos <coughs> It was all hands free, the camera was mounted on the back wall here and I was just doing you some driving videos. Not trying to be an expert, I've never tried to be a guru. I've only been driving these things for four years and every day is still a school day for me. And let's face it, it will always be a school day, even in 20 years time, if I'm still driving these things, it will always be a school day. And it always should be because I think if you think any difference, I've been driving 20 odd years, you can't tell me nothing. If you have that kind of attitude, then I find that personally a bit arrogant. There are quite a few drivers out there for different companies what do have that attitude, and I think it's a bit arrogant. I think every day is a school day, no matter how long you've been driving these things. And I think that's why I got on, I, I seem to get on well with people that watch these videos. I mean, some people, I'm just watching this tipper back in here, and he's, he knows what he's doing. Go on, lad. Uh, some people who've been driving 20, 30 years followed me on the previous channel and, and seem to, you know, like the cut of me jib because I'm just me, do you know what I mean? I'm never, never try to be something I'm not. What you see is what you bloody get. But we had a new lad basically start. Now, I've nothing against this lad. I met him once, actually. I met him down at Crayford when I was coming in. He was coming out. He blew his back door off. Or I don't know what he'd done. He ripped his headboard off or something. So he was having it repaired and I, and I met him briefly. I shook hands. He'd, st he'd started doing the video straight away from passing his test. I think he'd, he passed his test and he went to... Um, excuse me, I've just had my tea. It was good food, actually. But 50 pence for a slice of bread. Even fucking Dick Turpin wore a mask. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, he passed his test. He went to Downton's on nights. I think he did about three days. Decided it wasn't for him. Spewed it. Then came to, to us, basically. And I, I said to him, I said, whatever you do, mate... I says, just be careful with your videos, because he was adamant he's going to be a vlogger. You know what I mean? It's the, it seems to be the in thing at the moment, don't it, with a lot of young truck drivers. I want to pass my test and I want to start vlogging it and show the world what I'm doing in a wagon. Which is all good and well if you can actually drive the bloody thing, but when you first start, the last thing you want to be doing is filming and causing a distraction for yourself. That's just my humble opinion. But anyway, I said to this lad, I said, whatever you do, mate, I says, don't film anything outside the cab. Don't give any company details away, don't, you know, because it won't go down well. And with respect to the guy, you know what I mean, it's his channel, but his attitude was, well, I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want, you know, what's it, what, what they're going to do about it? It's good promotion for them. And I said, well, they don't need promotion, mate. This is one of the biggest <laughs> bulk haulers in the UK. They do not need promotion. Don't do it, it won't go down well. So what did he do? The f first fucking video, he straight, this is who I'm working for, this is A.W. Jenkins, and he's straight out cab and he's filming on King Wagon and then he started going on sites and he's he's filming on sites and then the, there was one who was walking all around Shoreham docks. You <laughs> know, fucking filming his hand. I thought, mate, what are you doing? I thought, well, leave him to it. Do you know what I mean? Leave him to it. And I soon found... Like I say, I, want him, I met the guy once, I spoke to him a few times on private message, and I actually think think he's a decent enough lad. I've nothing against him, you know what I mean? I don't know him that well, but I've nothing against him, and I think fair play to him. But we, I think, if this is a criticism, I'm not sure, but I, I kind of got the impression that he was more interested in making a name for himself on YouTube than actually learning how to drive the bloody truck and do the job. So, lo and behold, he soon started coming to the attention of people because he were posting on these Facebook groups for public forums for HGV drivers. Well, loads of our lot worked there, so he soon started coming to the attention of people for the wrong reasons. So, I don't know what, what happened but, or what was said. I've no idea, and it's none of my business, but I, I, it is my understanding that he got hauled in, basically, and said, why are you fucking necking type of thing. I don't know the exact ins and outs, and if this guy watches this, then I, I've, I've, you know, it's not having a go at you, Billy, lad, I'm not. I, th I think you're a decent lad. I've, I've met you once, and I said that to you in private message. But I soon found myself having to distance myself from this lad, because I thought, I don't want the shit to come on me. I don't want the spotlight to come on me, because I've been bang at this for a couple of years, do you know what I mean? And I've, I've got away with it. So anyway, I don't know exactly what went on, and that's none of my business, it's his business, but he resigned, basically, so 
he resigned well lo and behold the spotlight starts getting turned on me then so like i say everybody had already known about me videoing and vlogging but i'd never done anything untoward and you know put myself I'd, i would always box clever with it that way but i started getting a few negative and sarcastic comments off some of the older drivers like type of thing and and i just felt as if the attention at the time and the spotlight was right on me so i thought well it's perfectly understandable nobody nobody's told me to pack that channel in by the way nobody did i did it of my own free will and my own accord because i thought it's only a matter of time now before the spotlight really comes on me and i get hauled in and say well you know we all have a blanket ban on social media because you can't have one rule for one i.e one rule for me and then tell everybody else you can't be filming this you can't be filming that so i thought well it, eventually it's going to come round to where they're going to say right you're going to wind your neck in as well so i thought well i don't want to give anybody ammunition to fire against me so what i'll do i'll just delete the channel which i did and then as soon as i deleted it i realized that i'd not backed anything up i used to just put them record them all on here with bluetooth and whatnot and load them straight onto youtube and then delete the bloody thing to make space for my next video do you know what i mean so everything went and personally i think i had some really decent driving videos i never tried to be an expert i'm no expert every day is a school day but i i i i think i'm a decent driver and i'm you know I'm, I've, I've done all right type of thing and, and I, yeah i think i had some decent driving videos but once that's gone it's gone it's there's no getting it back it's gone so all them videos have gone but anyway that's what happened that's why i deleted that channel i'm not bl having a go at that lad i'm not having a go at billy in any way shape or form he's he's, he's he's his own man he's doing what he's doing he's working for somebody else now he's doing the video blogs and that and fair play to him do you know what i mean but i really do think and i really do feel you know i'm nobody to to criticize anybody but i really do think and feel that if you're gonna come into this industry and you want to start vlogging and making a name for yourself on youtube and doing youtube truck driving videos then i think you need to give it time first like i waited two years before i had two years driving experience under my belt i still make mistakes now of course i know i'm only bloody human but i gave it two years to make sure i was competent in driving this truck before i started filming myself driving this truck you know what i mean but some people they pass the test and then the straight with cameras on and, and and the amount of mistakes you know it's nitpicking but the amount of mistakes you see them doing and it's on camera they're so called checking mirrors they never look in them once you know what i mean they're fucking running up curves bless billy like he, he put cameras on one day and he had a camera outside he was fucking clipping curves and everything i thought it's only a matter of time before you get hauled in mate you know what i mean but no fair play to him but i do think if you're going to come into this industry and want to make videos then give yourself chance to learn how to do the frigging job first and, and before you start doing the videos anyway that's why that channel went we've rambled on for 17 minutes now so that's why that channel went so i did set this new one up and i was toying with the idea do i do videos do i not and blah 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 and i've decided yeah i'm not done yet i'm not quite finished yet so we're going to start again from scratch basically with chatting with me in a hgv now as I say, I'm, tonight is my last night as a tramper with AW Jenkinson's. The my last night in this truck. I've stripped the entire truck down inside. I put it all in my car the other day because I ran into Penrith and I was tipping uh, and reloading out of um, out of Penrith basically. So I got everything sorted on my breaker. I, I stripped the truck down inside. So all I've got to do tomorrow is take my bedding out, double check over, and then I'm going to clean this thing because it's nice to be nice. Do you know what I mean? Uh, when I got my first truck, it was it was immaculate, it was clean. Uh, when I come off cab hopping, my first truck was clean. And I always try and leave them as I find them, or leave them as I find them. And it's nice for somebody else, because there will be somebody else what's been cab hopping for a couple of months, what will be coming on this. They'll get issued this truck tomorrow. I wonder, I mean, they, they, they did say to me, we don't want you to go. You know what I mean? But when I explained my, my reasons, like, they're not going to beg it stay. It's a big company, you know what I mean? They're not going to beg it stay. And, and the, this truck won't stand idle. The wheels will still keep turning because it needs to earn money. And that's the nature of the beast, you know what I mean? Once you understand that, it's that's how it is. As long as there's a load on its back and the wheels are turning, this truck's earning, and that's what's making the world around. It's all about money, do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm, I've been down into... I tipped 
I tipped at a B and Q this morning in Stevenage. I then went down into London at Edmonton, a place where we go to regular. I've loaded a load of recycled wood for Lockerbie. So I've terraced on up here, and I'm, I'm in Cornegarth for the night. This is where I am. I'm in Cornegarth, just off the A1 near uh, near Thurston Scotch Corner. So I'm going to set sail tomorrow. I'm going to tip Lockerbie, then I've got to go and reload. They're not let me finish early. I'm getting a, they're getting a full day's work out, mate. You know what I mean? It's quite rightly so that's what it's all about that's the nature of the beast so i'm going to tip lockerbie in the morning then i'm going to go to dalbeaty pick up a load of wood chips for workington then i've got to run over to penrith and load this with pallets for a b&q for the next lad what's going to be on this truck now whether he's working bank holiday monday or he's working tuesday i don't know i've no idea who it is but i'm going to load this wagon for him I'm assuming it's a him, it might be a her. We've got a, quite a few females working for us now. I'm going to load this wagon for the next driver, basically, and uh, it'll be the next driver will be issued this tomorrow. They'll get the details right. Your new full time allocated truck is XYZ, and this is she, this is who she's on, you know what I mean? So that's what's going to happen. So all I've got to do tomorrow when I've run, run myself ragged everywhere. Um, is give this truck a wipe over inside i've kept a little bit of pink here and i've got a cloth there's a little bit of pink here and a cloth because it is quite difficult to to keep this spotless when you've got dusty environments where i've loaded today like but i'll give it a wipe over tomorrow i'll wash it when i get back to the yard tomorrow i'll give it a wash i'll give it a wipe over so at least it's presentable for the next person to call it the full-time home what they do with it after that is none of my business but i'm leaving on good terms but yeah i am quite sad to be leaving I do love this job. I've really enjoyed it. I, you know, the experience I've got since working here is second to none. It really is second to none. They took me on with no experience at all, threw me in at the deep end, and it was like you'd either sink or swim. Do you know what I mean? And and I swam like a champion. You know, and I'm I'm happy. It's been the best thing I've ever done for myself was passing my HGV test and passing my class one four years ago. This is the best job I've ever had in my working life since leaving school in 1992. And I love it. I do love it. So I've, I'm leaving on good terms. If I don't like this new job and it's not for me, I'll be back here. And then we'll have to see what we're going to do about videoing, you know what I mean? But anyway, I've got a week off, basically. I've got a week off next week. And then I start my new job on the 5th of uh, June. I start my new job and uh, I'm not going to say who I'm working for. They're quite happy for me to do the videos so long as I don't um, mention company details or customer details and stuff like that and start filming on sites and whatnot. But they're quite happy for me to do videos like this, having the crack and also doing some driving videos as well. However, well, I've been rambled on for 22 minutes. However, what I don't want to do we're just starting at a brand new place. I don't want to start filming straight away. And look at me, you know what I mean? Because there'll be lads there what's been there a long time. Um, they won't know me from bloody Adam. So I don't want to go in there and start filming and then people start thinking, who the fucking hell does he think he is? Who's, who's this guy think he bloody is? Do you know what I mean? So I want to do things slowly, like I did when I first started videoing here. I'm just going to do videos having the crack in the cab of a night time. And then once I start, you know, learn... I can drive, don't get me wrong, I can drive. Every day is still a school day, obviously, as I've mentioned for the 300th time. Um, but I want to learn how to do the job first and be com confident and competent at strapping the bloody loads and making sure, and you know, not just filming straight away. This is what I'm doing, you know what I mean? I want to get to where I know what I'm doing and then we'll start doing some driving videos and going forward from there. But I'm looking forward to it. It's a new experience, it's a new challenge. And... If it doesn't work out, I can come back here, hopefully. Or I can go somewhere else on a walking floor. Because I, I do love walking floor work. But I don't want to look back in 20 years' time and say, I wish I'd have tried something different, you know. Because all I've ever done is bulk college on a walking floor. So that's what it is. That's where we're at. Right, so if, like I say, if you've just joined me for the very first time, you might be thinking, who the hell's this bald pillock with his funny, funny shape, right hand nostril? Is it my right or my left? Yeah, right hand nostril. I got my nose broke years ago. And I had an operation to fix it, but I don't know who did the operation. I think Stevie Wonder must have done it, because that nostril ever since at the bottom has always been bent inwards like. But uh, happens somebody needs to hit me from the other side and break it to the way, do you know what I mean? But yeah, I had an operation on my nose when I was younger. I was in my early 20s. I was talking when I should have been listening. I got first two cracks in, buddy. Mm. I'd like to tell you I fought a good fight, but it was 17 strong. It knocked me fucking head in. <laughs> but there you go. Right, so yeah, if you've just joined me for the first time, uh, I am Barry. I'm a 
a middle-aged, married, uh, articulated, currently a Scania pilot. The next truck I'm going to get is possibly going to be a DAF. It's either going to be a DAF or a Vatican Volvo. That By that I mean an Iveco. I'm not right keen on them. That I don't like the look of them. They just look like a cheap budget Volvo, don't they? But apparently they go well. So whatever truck I'm issued, I'll make it my own and do the best of it. But it's not going to be a Scania, I know that. So I've only ever driven Scanias since I've been doing this job. So it'll be quite interesting to drive something different. It's either going to be a DAF or an Iveco. If it's a Scania, I'll be over the bloody moon because I know I know how Scanias work. But there you go. Uh, if you're joining me for the second time, thanks very much. Um, as I said, that's the reasons I've gone into why the channel was packed in the first time. I do regret it now, to be honest. I do regret it. I really regret it, but there's no time for regrets, really, because it's what's done's done. But I do regret closing the channel down now, because I think I had some bloody good driving videos on there. And if I'd have just left it alone for a while and see how the ground lay, you know, I would have been all right. I could have just left them videos up and just started this new job. But such is life, innit? We're good, but, yeah, we're going to start all over again with this channel. Um... If people want to find me, they'll know how to find me, and, and here I am. But if you want to subscribe, then crack on. Right, I've rambled on for far too long. I've been your old mate, Borothea. Once again, you, my friend, have been beautiful, but for now, I am out of here. So for me, last time here in this Scania, under the bosom of uh, AWJ, I'll be sad to leave tomorrow, but it is what it is. I'll probably post this video uh, on a Friday, after I've fucked off. <laughs> See you later. Ta-ra!